start. Start, 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 start. Can you start. say st Can you say start in Greek? Uh, <coughs> Greek, I can't remember. Arkisa. There you go. Aren't you Japanese? Is that what you are? That's not what are the What's the thumbnail? Mark, Mike, why, don't you, Mark why don't you stop talking over Mike, please? Dude, oh, I'm that, sorry, go ahead. That thumbnail is creepy. Just as creepy as Mark's recent thumbnails of himself. <laughs> this is some creepy ass thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Those are our heads exploding. Is that what Yeah. Okay. That's like brains and like blood coming out. Yeah. It's kind of creepy. Hey, everybody. Hey, oh, everybody. A steel man, some troll. I want to see what this guy said. What do you say? Suck my dry, you something. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, this coffee's hot. I love hot coffee. Ugh. Coffee? I like cold coffee. I only drink hot coffee in the winter. Uh, <sighs> in the summertime, I think I drink iced coffees until, uh, yeah. Probably until the beginning of November, then I switch into hot coffees. You must not use creamer for your coffee. Who me? Uh, Brian. No, I use creamer. Why? Why do you keep it so hot? Because when you add the creamer, it, the cold creamer in the hot coffee makes it warm. I mean, it's not scolding hot. It's hot like hot coffee is with oh. creamer. Yeah. Why do you take your creamer and like boil it? That's not a bad idea, but no, I don't. Mark, Mark <laughs> cream curdles his. I hate, I hate the way that cold creamer makes a hot coffee warm. Not really. I hate when the coffee is too hot and you burn your tongue. I, I hate it. when the show's a vaping show and we sit here and talk about coffee for 10 minutes. Well, let's go live. What are we waiting for? All right, let's do it. <laughs> Ignition. Ignition. What is this, <laughs> gun or what? This is like episode 119 of the Vape Team. Committed. 119 weeks. Can you believe that shit? We're still here. We're still going strong. We're committed to the community, to you guys, because we're a fucking team, and that's what this is all about. It's about teamwork. With me, the guy that supports you, he supports me, and he's accepting... Of that fap and vegan is the man with the master plan, Mr. Matchy Matchy, the Greek god of vaping, the Cloud King, Mount Olympus, the Iron Lung, Mikey Motherfucking Vapes. <laughs> What's up, peeps? <laughs> it's like the intro to the Chicago Bulls that are in the arena. I love it. We need to get like that sound effect. You know, with the lights, we need to dim the lights in our rooms. It's a little over the top, I think. But anyway, yeah, our special guest who almost ruined his spot on the show, maybe soon to be demoted from junior member. He's a pretty decent friend. He loves going outdoors to check the mail. He also likes to look away from you when he's talking to you. Mark, <laughs> vaping. Dude, I, want like a, I want an intro like Mike. Like an I, I, I do too. I don't even get a fucking intro at all. <laughs> People are like, whatever that guy is on the show that talks the whole fucking intro. This is bullshit. Yeah. It would, yeah. Would, it, it would be fucked up if I introduced myself. You know? No, it wouldn't. All right, so let's have a contest on the show. Why don't we have um, 
people that watch the show can come up with an intro for you. There we go. That'd be perfect. An intro for us to say for about you? Yeah. For, <laughs> no, for Mark. Well, we're going to need one for you, too. <clears throat> I'm comfortable. I think, I think the contest should be coming up. One of us should say an intro for you. Exactly. Because you don't have an intro. Yeah, yeah but I kind of feel like I don't want that. I kind of feel comfortable celebrating you guys. You know what I mean? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll do a contest for a whole bunch of different things. Yeah. Uh, cool. If anyone's interested, the hot coffee we talked about before the show started tonight was brought to me by Yeti oh, and S- Starbucks Sumatra. So I have a Yeti cup. This is an authentic, not a clone, like Mark's. Oh, our trail, bitches, right there. $9 at Walmart. Mark's got the Black Keith special. <laughs> he has the Black Keith cup with the cool, ice Kool-Aid in there. Oh, he got accessories, too. Yep, they have the handles now at Walmart. Five bucks for the handle. Woo! Dude, you need to put a VF sticker on there. I'm in the works of that. <laughs> nice. So, why don't we start off the show as we always do, before we forget why we're here and start talking about other things unrelated to vaping. Why don't we talk about vaping? Why don't we talk about what we're vaping? Why don't we have the buffet? Yeah, it's all you, all you can vape buffet time. And to lead it off, I don't even know. We're going to have Mark do it, I think. Mark, yeah. what are you vaping on? Oh, it's pretty sad. Uh, let's see. Vaping on. All right, hold on. i got to get my thoughts together. Actually, while you're getting your thoughts together, uh, Brian, put batteries in your mods. Uh, yeah. Sure. All right, go ahead, Mark. Thank you. So, um, the 1111 with the Buddha Mini. The, oh, I want to say, I don't know what it's called. I don't know who sent it. I want to say it's. It's not the Tugboat 3. I don't know what it is. It says flawless as fuck on it. I don't know which mod that is, but yeah, that's the mod right there with the RDA. I guess I know it's a flawless mod. I don't know if it's the Tugboat or what it is. It didn't come in a pack. Actually, it did come in a package. Maybe it was sent from flawless. It did. It was sent from them, but I never talked to them. So, but uh, there it is. Uh, this cute little Kanger to go device. And, and all these bi- devices actually have juice and batteries, and I'm actually vaping on them. And, of course, i got to have the vape team boss with the Bolt RDA on top. Juice, the cloud chemist, as always. i got some of this delicious cornbread pudding. woo Right there. Mm-hmm. And i got some uh, strawberry jam monster. Three juices, four atomizers. Take it away, Brian. Don't take digs at me during what? the fucking buffet. I'll Boy. take it. Dig in your ass. Don't dig I in mine. See, I want to see you vape off everything that you show. You don't set the rules for the show, Mark. I don't know where you got the idea that a junior member has the ability to do something like that. I think a lot of people in chat want to see you vape off the devices that you're showing us. I think a lot of people in chat don't want to see your big fucking ham ass. <laughs> That's what I think. As long as you don't put me in time out, you won't see it. Well... We might have that later on in the show. That's all I'm saying. But, yeah, I have uh, Half Moon Mods Drip Tip with the Cheetah 2 and uh, the US 1. This this combo is just beautiful. And uh, I'm doing this because I'm trying to vape the same liquid and I'm doing some testing on some liquids. So I have the Brass edition of the US 1 from Trinity Glass Tanks also. And also uh, Half Moon Mods Drip Tip. So double stacking for her pleasure, for his pleasure. That's that tonight. Um, also... I'm dripping some delicious country clouds. Hit that juice.com lemon pudding pie. Yeah. I've got I went through all the cornbread pudding, so now I'm on the lemon pudding pie. Um I'm also vaping oh shit. I got a shipment in the mail today of so much fucking Adore E liquid that I have enough Adore E liquid for the rest of my life. Big ass bottles of lemon ecstasy, big ass bottles of strawberry submission, uh big bottles of hazy custard. Big bottles of banana bondage. I got concentrate bottles so I can DIY stuff. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the DIY. I got hybrid reserve. I got Addy's yogurt concentrates. I mean, Dawn totally killed it. So big, big, much love. Shout out to you. AdoreEliquid.com. Awesome juice. Check it out. So I'm vaping on that tonight. I'm also vaping on a little bit of this from Shane from VapingSwag.com. Shane Preston. Boston Cream. This is the VSO, I think it's VSO, yeah, VSO Breakfast Boston Cream. Did my f- 
fucking camera just... <laughs> what, what, what kind of fucking shit is going on tonight? Your focus actually worked beautiful. That's um, amazing, Mike. You noticed that, didn't you? Jinxed everything now. Yeah. There's probably no audio or something. Yeah. Yeah. The show just went offline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm also vaping on this brand new Billet Box from Billet Box Vapor. This is sort of like a sort of an orangish color. And I have a uh, signature tips. Did the show just fucking freeze? No. no oh, my screen froze. That was weird. Uh, yeah. Sign- <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Signature tips, chameleon drip tip on there. So I got the new fresh billet box in the mail today or yesterday. Um, also vaping on what else? Can we, can we expect a full review by tonight? No. Okay. Just, just checking. Just I'm check. not you. I don't talk shit about doing reviews out of the mailbox and then the following week review something out of the mailbox, Mark. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest here. Um, uh, I also want to, and I made a promise if you guys, and you don't have to be in the state of Mississippi to do this, but Adam Miller from Vaporized Nomads asked me if I could give a little shout out to, boom, MSVAA, the Mississippi Vaping Advocacy Association, www.msvaa.org. They need more members. So you don't have to be from Mississippi to be a member, but give them some love, show them some love, sign up, and uh, let's advocate for vaping together. So let's do that. And... To finish off the last 40 minutes of the show with a beautiful buffet that's going to excite and titillate all of us, Mikey motherfucking vapes. Let's do it. All right. I got a pretty decent buffet going on here today. Uh, I'm vaping on the No Sin Greed Squonker with the D-Pro RDA. In here, I'm still vaping on that same juice, them, them things, wild thing, vaping on that. Also vaping on the the Archon with the Galatech. And here I have some cornbread pudding. Some cornbread pudding. Uh, also vaping on another squonker. This just came in the other day. This one uh, is called uh, the Danger Mod version 3. And on top of it, I got the Pulse 24 by Tony B and Vandy Vape. And in here I am vaping on some, excuse me, uh, the Mama-san ASAP. All right, vaping on that. I'm also vaping on the Heron with the uh, iJoy Captain RTA. Uh, and I'm pulling a Brian, by the way, with no batteries. Beautiful work, Mike. Beautiful work. This is catching on. I <laughs> think the batteries not on purpose for that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> And in there, I'm vaping on some uh, lemon pudding pie. <laughs> uh, what else we got here? Oh, I'm also vaping on the IPV uh, Eclipse with the engine RTA. In there, I have some Joe motherfucking Turner Joe. raspberry custard, royalvaproducts.com. Uh, what else, Mike? I'm vaping this device also. It's called the Fusion by EH Pro. And in here, I am vaping on two juices. One side of it has hole and the other side has cornbread pudding right so i'm mixing both of them together and vaping them in here okay vaping on that and uh there's one more which is right in front of me right that's it yeah yeah i'm also vaping on this uh boss 3000 this is number one this boss has been traveling around to a lot of people a lot of different reviewers have had it Different people, uh, uh, what's it? Dear Addy just sent it to me because he had it for about a month using it, something like that. And on top of it, I got the Dead Rabbit RDA. And in here, I am vaping on some <coughs> pudding pounder. <laughs> Adorliquids.com. That's it. That's it. All right, now I can put batteries in my Haron. Haron. You know how I like to roll? I like to roll no wicks, no batteries, no coils. Put the batteries back in the Haran so we can vape this. Unbelievable. Did you guys see the picture? I'm sure, well, I know you guys did, but let's talk about it for a minute because I have like, actually, you know what? My erections have been pretty strong for the past couple months, so I don't have a problem with erections, but I got an even harder erection the other day when I saw the picture of the boxer squonk with the fucking 
DNA seventy five. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that looks nice. How sexy was that picture? Yeah. So that's gonna have what uh, twenty seven hundred battery or a twenty one seven hundred battery if that yeah. comes out in two thousand twenty. Uh, not two thousand twenty. What the battery? Yeah. Odd. The 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 uh, no the battery the twenty one seven hundred battery. Well, yeah, we can still use the twenty seven hundreds, which is an awesome battery. Awesome battery, yeah. But I think that mod with with that battery is gonna be. I mean, it's gonna be awesome. Dude, that mod with the twenty seven, the twenty one seven hundred, the one that has five thousand milliamp hour, game changer, right there for a single uh, battery device, getting that much uh, milliamp hours. Yeah, it'll be really interesting to see. I can't wait to take apart the Boxer and see the space management because I mean they're so good at engineering these things to see like where they put the board, how the board's protected, where the battery fits in and how they fit everything in there. It should be pretty yeah. awesome. But I know it'll feel good in the hands, but this thing is just so small and compact. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You like that Galatech mic for uh, squonking? Uh, I haven't stopped using it. I know. I've been uh, using it constantly with my uh, cornbread pudding in here. Fucking delicious. That thing's got awesome flavor. The clouds I'm throwing tonight. Crazy flavor. I can't even get a, this thing to vape. What the fuck? I want to, I want to put a battery in there. Yeah, there's no build in there. I think it's. I think it's dry. Never mind. Fuck. That's a showpiece. Dude, I just pulled the fucking. I just <laughs> pulled the cover off my fucking beautiful drip tip. Oh Jesus! Oh. What the fuck? Why are you yanking it by the drip tip? I don't know. Oh, gator board. What's up with that, man? Come on, Gator. What's up, man? Make it right, son. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kid. You just got furlied. Yeah, y'all. Yep. Um. So yeah, let's talk about the let's talk about the Pulse Twenty Four, Mike. What are the changes that Tony B came up with from the Pulse Twenty Two to the Twenty Four? Uh, you can watch my full review tomorrow to know all about the Pulse Twenty Four. Thank you. You're all right. Uh, <laughs> it's this shorter. Is my review right now, so go ahead, Mike. It's shorter. Uh, you can fit dual coils in there and do a single coil if you want to. Um, you don't see the gold trim anymore on the bottom of the RDA. The flavor on this thing, for me, it's so much better than the 22. I'm in love with this RDA. Knocked it out of the park with this one. This one's a must buy. Flavors dynamite. Oh, everything is dynamite about it. It's awesome. It was one of those uh, that I couldn't really find the con for. I mean, I've seen people do like dual verticals on the Pulse Twenty Two, but not nearly the way that that's done. I mean, I, you showed me the build deck before the show started tonight, and it just looks so fucking easy and so nice to set up. It's it's fucking awesome. It's an awesome RDA. Yep. Yep. Very exciting. That was quick, too. That turnaround was quick, right? Yeah, I mean, it's almost as if, why did the 22 come out? They should have just came out with this bad boy. But, uh, I wonder. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's what, what's that, Mark? I said, I wonder if the people that bought the 22 wanted the 24 and are going to be pissed they bought the 22 because it came out so quickly. Well, not really. I mean, look, if someone's going to buy the 22, they obviously uh, are single coil lovers. If you don't like using single coils, why then if you're not a single coil person, then I don't think I don't think people went and bought it if they're not single coil people. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that like a smaller RDA and something that has um, less you know less diameter that fit on twenty two millimeter mods and sort of sit pretty and single coil lovers that like lower wattage. So mm -hmm. I think having both options is really important. Yeah. For me I just find a, a dual coil much more satisfying vape. For I just wish, for which, company, which companies would drop all the sizes at once? Even though they're never going to do that, it would be nice if they did. We well, just look, got a as, message from Anton Fillery. He donated two dollars, and he said, "Never yank it by the tip." So that's some good information. Uh, Thank you. Uh, basically, as a business standpoint, as being in business, you're always going to release. If you're planning on making a 22 and a 24. You're always going to release the 22 first. That's just the way it is. People are going to buy it. And then when you release the 24, 
you're hoping that the same people that bought the 22 also buy the 24 and all the people that love strictly dual coil builds together yeah. but the good thing about this is though that you could throw in your single coil build nice big build if you want to maybe like a four millimeter single coil in here use it that way i mean i don't see it if you're going to use something like a two and a half millimeter coil to do a single coil in here because of uh it's gonna be too much space in the chamber it's probably gonna be in, in my eyes of seeing it, it's gonna be muted flavor that way but for duels hmm, it's butter what if you put like a six millimeter single coil in there mark's the specialist at that mark yeah don't you're not gonna have a device that will power it <laughs> no i've gone that route too many times have you yeah um I just wanted to share with you guys, I was working on a poll all week on the Vape Team Facebook group. I started a poll, and uh, we had so many people get involved with the poll, and I figured I'd share it here tonight because maybe we could talk about it a little bit. Why didn't I see it? Wait, you were working on someone's poll? I worked on polls during the evening hours, and I actually took a poll <laughs> during the daytime hours. Hashtag poll life. Thank you. That's what I do. So the poll was, and this is really just for my information. I wanted to know what people thought, and I know what I thought, but sometimes, you know, I wanted to get the, the pulse, pun intended, of the community. And uh, the poll was, please answer only once, how many watts do you want and need in a regulated device? Because, you know, everybody's coming out with this, that, and the other thing. And um, not only did people answer, but they also commented. And the comments make a lot of sense. They talked about, I want this many watts. But I also want, I need to have an amp limit that goes up to a certain level, which we all agree. I think nine amp. Yeah. Nine amps? I'm sorry. Volts. Volts. Yeah. Nine volts. Exactly. Um, so the, the options that we had were 60 watts would be one, 75 watts. Uh, then you had uh, 100 watts, 120 watts, 160 watts, 200 watts, 220, and 300. And the number one choice for people was 160 watts with 151 people that voted. So they didn't prefer any uh, 200 watts over 160. So 160 seems like to be the sweet spot. But what's interesting is, and I was surprised by this, the next runner up was 120 watts with 105 people. So a lot of people were cool with 120 watts. And looking the way I vape most days, I'm at around 80 to 90 watts, you know? So that makes a lot of sense too. So 120, the next runner up was 100 watts with 80, uh, 60 votes. And then the, the runner up after that was 60 watts with 19 and then 200 with 14. And actually 300 and 220, actually 200, 300 and 220 all rounded out the bottom. We don't, yeah. want, we don't want more fucking power. That's why like when we do reviews and uh, they advertise, I know it's false advertising, but when they say, oh, 300 watt device, it's like, who cares about that? That that part really don't give a crap. I care about more how many batteries is running in that device and for the battery life. That's the main objective for that. Uh, me personally, I'm happy with uh, uh, two batteries, dual 18650 or even dual 2700s, uh, 150 watt maximum. And I don't even vape more than 120 watts. I just like to know that it could do up to 150. You know what I'm saying? It's like a car. You can get a car that does 300 miles per hour, but you're going to probably, the most you'll ever do is maybe 120. But you just like knowing that it could do that. Yeah. That's what it is with these mods, with the 300 watts and all that. So yeah, realistically, the majority don't vape. Because you don't want to buy a device. If you vape 80 watts, you don't want to buy an 80-watt device and max it out and have shitty battery life. So... Like, I vape 80 or 100. I think 150 is perfect. Yep. Are there times you guys prefer a single battery mod? No, not for the wattage I vape. Single battery. I'd rather have a dual. So let me ask you this. Unregulated, right? Mm -hmm. Mech mod. Do you prefer dual 18650 or dual 2700 in parallel? Or do you prefer single? Well, look, I don't have any dual 2700 in parallels. So, I mean, that would be great. But uh, I'm happy with uh, the 2700 squonkers that are the Mechmod squonkers, like this one here, the 2700 battery inside there. 
at the uh, amp, what's it called, Amp King one. Battery life, you could tell the difference, you know, with it. So for for mechs or mech swankers, I prefer 2700s. Uh, for my uh, dual devices, dual battery devices, regulated, uh, 18650s, I'm fine, you know. I'm fine with dual 18650. No issues with it. And nowadays, with the devices, the way they're coming out, they're making these dual 18650s so small that, that you have – single 18650 devices that are bigger than the dual 18650 devices so yeah back when i was using like the regulated 2700 mods i didn't notice the difference in battery life but now using a 2700 in the mech i can totally notice the difference yeah see batteries don't get warm or anything ah. yeah usually you take like three pulls at three hard pulls and the battery felt weak after that and now it's like you can just yep much better yeah, I've been vaping like uh, the, the 2700 here. And with the build I have in it, I'm vaping it and vaping it. I go through a lot of juice through it, and the fucker still hits hard with that battery. You know, unless it makes a big difference with these uh, 2700s, 30 amps. Big difference. There is also a market for devices that do. I know, like, someone just mentioned something about 200 watts. There is a market for that. Uh, if you're buying, uh, R if you're into RDAs, like, for example, the Buddha, right here, 30 millimeters, where you're going to throw big, massive builds that are going to require a lot of wattage to power up this, this people. But that's, I would say, out of 100% uh, of the vapors, that market right there is probably, like, maybe 20%. 15 to 20 percent i would say i'm just guessing a number that would need that much power that vape 30 millimeter rdas so yeah majority 150 watt box mod something like that is perfect for the mass you know the masses if you guys remember like when the dna 133 came out and then the 166 and then they changed it to the 167 and they said oh it's just a detuned dna 200 and then it was a detuned dna 250 or whatnot there was a lot of frustration amongst myself and I think you guys and everyone else because it's not just the wattage, but it's also the capability of what it can handle in terms of the um, the builds that you put on it. That thing would always hit that limiter and you'd be like, what the fuck? Wait, the 133 and the 167 have the same limit. Yeah, they do. I know. Just to clarify, it's the DNA 250 that has... Yeah, the 9... Yes. Yeah. So that's why, like, we were all sitting back waiting because it was nice to have a more affordable, you know, mod that that did. And I think we all were happy with 167 watts. The problem is, is that it limited it because you couldn't use it in most applications. That power, which was frustrating as hell. So, but I think that in the future that'll be remedied because of the uh, what they did with the DNA 75 color, the C. Yeah, that fixed a lot of those problems. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they're all now uh, nine volts. Yep. You know? Yep. So the seventy-five C is is pretty nice. I like the the layout of the paranormal. They they kind of they changed that up. The screen itself, the paranormal screen from the one that's on the the Therion DNA seventy-five C. I like the layout. It's much easier to operate this one paranormal's uh interface on here i think the paranormal feels like a more quality mod too i yeah. just i don't know i like it a lot this i really like this cushion i just love just sitting there and just squeezing it it feels nice and i love the doors the way you they have that suction cup that pulls them off yeah i didn't know that because i took the i took the device out of the box and didn't even look inside the box i oh, didn't even extra panels <laughs> I didn't even know I had these wood panels in there. Someone yeah. told me. I don't know if it was Mark. Yeah, I told you. Huh. I think Brian told me, and then I told you. Yeah, and then I threw the wooden panels on it. I was like, oh, dope. Yeah, the wood. I think the wood looks so sexy. Yeah. It's a genius way they, way they did that with the magnet. Yeah. I haven't had the panel pop. Have you had the panel pop off at all or no? No, the only thing is that you need to make sure you don't lose that suction thingy to pull it off. Oh, yeah. that's no problem. All you have to do is this. Ready? <laughs> Hold on. Work? No, no, it doesn't work. <coughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 
I could probably get Mark. You have better sucking capabilities than I do. I mean, you've sure done it a lot. So go ahead. He's a piece of tape. Hold on. Just pop it off. Yeah, you keep sucking on that. Can't do it. Maybe if I put the whole thing in my mouth. <laughs> hey, uh, Mark, how do you like that RDA, the bolt, so far? It's all right. It's not bad. The one I'm using is like the matte finish, and it's uh, I don't like the way it feels, but not bad. It just – I could have swore there's another RDA out there that's just like it. With the way the bottom airflow is and the and the posts are and everything, but yeah, there is. Is there? Yeah, the mask. Is it the mask? Okay. Yeah, I have it actually right here. Because I knew I'd seen that design somewhere before. Just to give credit, DJ LSB is the one that told me about the panels, which I told Mark, which told Mike, which told yeah. There's the mask RDA, and it's got bottom airflow that has side also. This yeah. Does. But this has that basically this goon build deck with bottom airflow. That's why you're seeing it. You actually have the uh, 30 millimeter, I think. Yeah, I do. I did see the box the other day. I did have it laying around. The only thing is, like, the build deck on it, it looks like a, I don't know if it's stainless steel or what it's made of. It looks like a gray, like, dirty stainless steel. Like, I don't know what it is. Yeah. I don't know if they call it, like, bead blasted or something. Like, it's a really gray looking stainless. It looks almost like a, I don't know, hard to explain. It looks I asked like if it's made of stainless steel, and I said, yeah. It looks like a nice RDA. I yeah. just got them in today. It came in. Yeah, it's not bad. It's got spring loaded uh, clamps. Yeah. How do you guys feel about spring loaded clamps, toolless clamps, that type of thing? As long as the spring holds up, I'm game with. I'm yeah. Yeah. I, I love the spring loaded clamps. I think it's, I think it's awesome. I mean, my only concern is like if you would think with all the heat, it would, the spring would lose its shape. But I don't know. Not, not the case, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't. The, uh, the spring-loaded clamps, on the other hand, <clears throat> or like the, the screwless ones. That's what I'm talking about, by the yeah, way. The screwless post, it's a good idea, but trying to get the second coil in is a bitch. Like I had that, that springer or whatever the hell it's called, and for a single coil, it's awesome. But when you when you try to mount that second coil, you got to hold the one coil with your finger. You got to somehow push the springs down. And I guess uh, Matt from Suck My Mod, he reviewed another one. And someone said he had the same problem in his video. It was a bitch trying to get that second coil in there. It's amazing that it took as long as they did to have these, you know, spring locking clamps. Because, I mean, we, we've used them in, like, windbreaker uh, strings. And even remember the old Air Jordans that had that little piece that you would squeeze? Yep. And then you put the fucking laces in and you would let go and it would grab it. Yeah. So it's, it's surprising that it's taken as long as it has. It'll be interesting to see the long-term durability of that setup. Yeah. Yep. I think it's pretty I didn't really have any issue putting uh my coils in mine. You didn't have a problem? Yeah, I just like every time I went to because those springs were so strong, like every time I went to hold it down and push one coil in, the other coil would push out. Yeah. I think if they had like what was that R D or is an atomizer, I think by Kanger or somebody a long time ago that had like little little like clamps that you pull up mm -hmm. and open the posts and then you clamp them down. I think if they had the spring mechanism along with a little lock on there so you can lock them open, put your coils in, release the lock, and then they clamp down would be a great idea. I must be like old school because I don't want springs. I, I want to feel the torque of the screwdriver and lock things down permanently and know it's secure. I don't know. It's just the way I like it. Same here. I just, I love just, you know, it's part of the, the hobby. The ritual. To sit there and build it and screw it down yourself and. I just, like all these screws are so small they just i don't know they always i always end up stripping them like i use a really good bit but the screws always end up stripping and also to have the, the enough clamping force i feel like it's you know it requires a lot of pressure so that's why they're doing like two legs or you know only like two two areas to compress because if they did four of them the spring would be so tight to push uh, to get it to open up, that I don't know if they could even do it and have it hold. We'll see, though. I'm sure someone's like working if, on it. If oh, all the, oh, oh, oh. Did you guys these, see the picture of the... Uh, go ahead, Mike. Mark. The size of the Allen screws and the Sub-Zero are perfect. They'll never strip them. Go ahead. Yep. Um, did you guys see the picture of the dot mod 
RDA this week? Did not. No. Single post, they call it. This a new one? Yeah. Wait a minute. Was that the one I saw that had like a big, like, like a rounded build deck? Yep. I saw that. I don't know what build deck that was for. I'm going to bring it up on my phone real quick just to show you guys, and we'll talk about it for a minute because I see some issues with it. But also, if there's anybody watching that knows the answers to these questions, you can let us know also. Let's see. Hold on. But I'll tell you what. From a, a looking standpoint, it's sexy as hell. I should have that. Actually, Dot Mod, I don't know if they contacted you guys. They contacted me let last me week. show you. Week so. Is it like the... The old like 454 RDA where it's like one center post in check, the center. Pull deck out. It looks fucking crazy. It reminds me of like fucking like a, a UFO or something, something alien. Yeah. Yeah, that's, isn't it the 454? Wait, no, it's not. Look at that. So you have a single single post, single screw. <clears throat> um, if we go yeah. back here, you can see this from the side. I I hope that the insulator that's in there is, <laughs> is is something that is not peak. Yeah. Because that is a fucking disaster waiting to happen if that's not that. I could see people bitching already. I melted my insulator. I yep. just can't imagine that they would not have thought of that. I mean, they're smart. They know <clears throat> people test the shit. Somebody, I mean, everybody in the world's commenting. So it's probably some new space age shit that you can't even see. So everybody's saying black screen, lol. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I got to see it. Yeah, I got to see it. Yeah, if you guys go to Dot Mod on Instagram, you guys can see there's pictures on there. Do it after the show. Yeah, do it after the show. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, guys. We're trying. It looks like a nice build deck, though. It looks like it's going to be a tall RDA, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it looks awfully tall. And it's single post, but it looks uh, sort of. And how sturdy is that single post going to be just held in with that one screw? Like, it has to be a pretty... Uh, it should be interesting. Hmm. It's definitely... It's sexy. I mean, it's if, if anything, just like most dot .mod products, it's going to make sexy Instagram pictures. <laughs> so coil builders are going to love it. You know? Yeah, that, the uh, the dot mod RTA. You don't hear much about it. It was a pretty good RTA too. They actually released uh, a new version of it, the oh, dot mod twenty four. Oh yeah, RTA. But doesn't hear much about it. No, you don't hear nothing about it. Nobody, nobody. Uh, Mike, they fixed, I'm sorry. They fixed all the issues that the other one had, but nobody talks about it. Hmm. Uh, my favorite RTA? Yeah, that's what I was going to... How did you know? That legal smoker wants to know. He's a legal smoker. I guess. Uh, I have two of them. The reload RTA and the engine. Those are my two favorites. The dual Vape coil Geek. engine. Vape Geek wants to know, why are we talking about something that they can't see? So I'm going to try to pull this up on my phone and just show it on my camera. I would love for you to do that. Yeah, well, you know, I think I'm so conditioned to have my phone not be clear, but I, here we go, guys. <laughs> it worked earlier. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Just do that. So there's the build deck. You can see that big insulator that runs around the middle. Wow, that's clear tonight. Yep. Holy fuck, Mike Vapes. What's going on around here? <laughs> it is clear. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> So that's that. Let me show you another shot. It looks... i got to be careful with dick pics on my phone, though. I don't want to fuck up. There we go. The other thing that worries me is the peak insulator and how sturdy that post is going to be with just one screw holding everything together. There might be two screws locked into each box. I don't know. Underneath, yeah. You're right. Maybe. You never know. There could be more structural quality here. Here's another... Shot. This is a build that Mark made with pa by his hands, with his hands. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, your builds are getting so ridiculous. Thanks, I appreciate it. Yep. 
Oh, your fucking fo- your camera's clear. Actually, your camera's clearer on your phone than it is on you. I know. I actually have a blur filter put in to show the, the, you know, so it doesn't show off all the herpes that I have all over me. <laughs> <laughs> it's called herpes vision. <laughs> the herpes. Yeah. It's for when you have an outbreak, people don't know about it when you're doing social <laughs> media. Yeah. Beautiful. Looks interesting. Yeah, the world might be coming to an end this week, guys, with all this clarity that I'm providing tonight. Yep. Good. Um, we have a lot of giveaways to go over tonight. Um, Holy shit, the show's over already? It's not over yet. Uh, no. It's not over yet. <laughs> we still got 15 minutes. We still have 15 minutes, but I wanted to make sure that we don't forget that we do have a couple more giveaways because we we had the issue last week. So I want to mark to be prepared. So what was uh, what they have to say last week again? Do you remember? So I think I chose it last week, didn't you or no? It's something. Yeah, it was something about uh, not being a goon. Oh, Brad is not a goon or something like that. But it was two giveaways. Was it two giveaways? Yeah, it was. It was. It was two giveaways. There was a giveaway from the week before, and I think we decided to combine the two weeks because that show got deleted forever. Right. What was the other giveaway for? The other giveaway. Hold on. Let me bring it up. Let me bring it up. And then we have a giveaway for next week that we have to announce also. Is it giveaway? Do oh, you guys want to get the giveaway time out of the way? Preferably no, not. Do you want to do it now? Do you want to do it now, Mike? I don't know. Whatever. Let's do oh, it now. Let's man. do it. All right. Let's do it now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Last week's show, right? Yeah. Yeah, but what was the comments? I... Mark, I'm going to need you to grab a piece of paper every week, and on the show, when we decide on what the comment is, I'm going to need you to write it down. I'll, I'll tell you what it is. Hold up. <laughs> You're right, the note taker. That's your responsibility. I need you to step up to the plate and do something. You're the note taker. I'm here to provide my good looks. I joy for your joy, goon. <laughs> yes. I joy for your joy, goon. Yep, that's it. Well, let's put it this way. I'll pick the winner. It'll randomize. And if we don't see anything in the comment section, like anything in the comment, then obviously he didn't win. All right. You're going to do two of them. Two people are going to win. There's two different. Two right. sets of one is for the goon. And the other one is for some iJoy device. I don't remember what the iJoy thing was. It was the iJoy. It was this. Since my camera's good, I can feel confident. Oh, yes, the back mod. That's what it was. The hey, one thing you're starting to push it now, Brian, with the clarity. I know. It's fucking ridiculous. My hand shaking from the alcohol withdrawal <laughs> is affecting me. So we have to decide, uh, what was the first, the week that, okay, so the first person you're going to pick will be for the goon, because that was the for the show that got screwed up, right? Yep. Goon 1.5. This is all thanks to Brad from bradsvapor.com. So, yeah, I can't get that clear. All right, so the first person you're going to pick is going to be for the goon. Second person is going to be for the iDroid. All right. This is a good giveaway, man. All right, so the winner, this first one's for the goon, right? Yes. So goon, first winner is going to be Aaron. Huckle, uh, Huckleby, Huckleby, H-U-C-K-L-E-B-Y. Uh, Aaron said, I joy for your joy, Goon. Two great review, two great giveaways. Nice. You won the Goon 1.5. There you go. Uh, mm-hmm. You need to contact me, The Vapor Chronicles, on The Vapor Chronicles Facebook Messenger. You need to be an adult vaping age. You need to send me a picture of your photo ID, your name, your address, and your email address, and that's all I need from you. And I'll contact Brad with your information. He'll send it out right away. And that's for both winners. That's for both winners. Congratulations, by the way, Mike. Yes. Congrats. <laughs> so, Mark, who's the second? Second winner going to be Derek Durbin. He says, I joy for your joy, goon. Another great show. Thanks. So that that's just right, correct? Yes. Der- so what's his name again? Derek, D-E-R-E-K, Durbin, D-U-R-B-I-N. Okay, so Derek Durbin wins the iJoy uh, mech mod, R-D-A kit. Congratulations, Double D. Double Ds. Yep. Speaking of Double Ds. We're not done yet. Oh, okay. My, my Double Ds, I got a rack going on down there. 
So <laughs> the comment for next week, you, you need to comment. Actually, you have to tell us what the giveaway is first. I will. I was going to bring that into <laughs> the whole entire thing. <laughs> so the comment that you need to post in the replay of the show in the comments section is don't poo poo on my voo poo, Brad. Oh. We have to add Brad in there because it's part of Brad. Don't poo poo on my voo poo, Brad. And we're going to be giving away this beautiful brand new voo poo drag resin next week on the show. Thanks to www.bradsvapor.com. Hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah, baby. Voo poo drag. And Brad's really a she, right? It's Brad's a female. Work. I thought Brad was a female. He, Brad is not what? a female. Oh, Brad's male? Oh, okay. Yeah. I, thought, I thought it was like a like a stage name. Yeah, Brad. stage name Brad, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, seriously, does Angela what? give you your meds or does she let you take them by yourself? Uh, eventually, she's going to have to start giving them to me because I keep forgetting them. I figured that. He's like, oh, M and M's. She had to get Flint <laughs> Flintstone shapes to make the meds fit in them, just so we eat them. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Any questions from you guys in chat tonight? We're here for you, and this show is pretty much all about you. So, what say you? It's all about you. You, you, you. Take a poo poo on my boo boo, huh? Dude, you do not want poo poo on a boo boo. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you have an open wound. And you get poo poo on your boo boo, you could get a serious fucking infection. Uh huh. Frank Marsh writes, Brad has hooters. You ever wonder why ass to mouth is a bad idea? Because that's the reason why you're putting poo poo in your mouth. <laughs> uh, Somebody asked if uh, some guy from Agro Rabbit Cotton tried to muscle us into doing a review or something. I don't know. I don't even know what that's about. I, I do. I keep on forgetting to try this cotton out. I've got it sitting here next to me. I got a box full of these Ang Ango Ango Rabbit cotton. I got actually. You no, know let me keep one out here. I got to use it on my next. What does it look like? Open up a pack. Let's pop it's that pack. Rabbit fur, actually. It's real it rabbit. Real? Yeah. Organic rabbit fur. Yeah. Uh, thoughts on the Armageddon Squonker box? I, none of us have that yet, I don't believe. Yeah, we should be have we should have it uh, this coming week. I know they're available on the site at the moment. The black ones are sold out, but as far as reviewers, we'll have them this week. Feels it's nice. It's a rabbit tail. Uh, a lot of people are asking tonight, "What's up with my project?" Um, Projects. Yeah, the drop RDA that I've been working on forever. Um, the drop is still happening. Uh, I've been getting updates regularly from Digi Flavor. One of the problems is since it's not my company, it's not my product, it's just my design. I'm left up to the decision making of Digi Flavor. So I know Daniel has the Aura, which looks awesome, and that's coming out very, very soon. I think that's first in line to be released. And immediately following the Aura, um, my product is going to hit production. So I would say, uh, I don't know, I would love it to be in the next three or four weeks. That would be fucking awesome. So we will see. But the drop is coming, and there have been some awesome changes, and it should be epic. I showed Mike uh, and Mark both the top cap and uh, the, the new updated build deck, and it looks pretty fucking awesome. I showed them the top cap of the one you're not using. Why? So this way the cloners can make this top cap. Okay. <laughs> There's the drop RDA right there, but without this top cap. And with the old deck. Yep. But the new top cap looks absolutely nothing like that. And also, during the um, development process, when you get like all these samples sent to you for testing, and I've received a few of them, none of the uh, none of the engravings, all the final stuff, none of it. So, yeah, are you showing off your products too, Mike? After you give me a shout out, I didn't show nothing. I can't show. What nothing. are you doing? Nothing, nothing. I didn't show nothing there. I saw something. That was nothing. I don't know. We're gonna have to watch the replay on this one. I see Paul's Mike, screenshots coming soon. Mike showed something. Yeah. He really didn't show nothing. <clears throat> Was that the Icon RDC TTA? Yes. yes. 
Nice. It's Shut the up. I clown. I clown. That's Mark's product. <laughs> the I clown. It's got a res- it's got a recessed five ten. Actually, I'm coming out with the rabies. <laughs> <RPA>. <laughs> Mark's, oh, yeah. Mark's five ten pin oh, yeah, is it this is. long. Yeah, yeah. It's ten inches long, actually. Very yeah. safe. Daniel <laughs> said the Aura RDA is already in production, baby. Hell yeah! Nice. I already got the Aura, actually. Yeah, I've had it for like six months. Yep. <laughs> yeah, 3F Vapes got them for what? 10 bucks, I think, right? Well, I got it from 3F Vapes. I ordered some squonk bottles and I got the Aura RDA clone off there. Yeah, a lot of people are saying the Dead Rabbit deck kind of reminds me a lot of the Drops deck. Um, Billy and I both came up with a similar top down sort of uh, postless deck design at the same time. We both found out probably like a month into our, our production of both of ours. And we've talked about it. Uh, but. That's where the similarities stop. Um, his airflow is completely different. The build deck on his is way, way different. I got both here. They're yeah. both totally different. Totally different, yeah. Totally different. We, we just let the trolls say they're the same. Yeah. They're totally different. It's like saying a fucking, um, you know, all two-post decks are the same or all, you know, three-post decks are the same. They're not. They're completely different. The airflow on mine is completely different. The build deck space, the depth of the juice well, uh, the clamps, the screw types, the colors, of, a, everything is different. Yeah, it's totally yours, yours has a juice well, right? Uh, his has a juice well, too, I think. Oh, does it? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but they're both awesome. I mean, everybody loves, Mike was saying before the show started that, the you know, uh, the the rabbit is awesome. Yeah. It's great. Like it has a couple of cons. But uh, it's fucking pretty good. The dead rabbit. I should be having my dead rabbit in the mail right now, so maybe tomorrow. I can't wait to vape on it. I mean, I wish Billy great luck from the very beginning, and he did the same for me. There's, there, you know, there's no competition when it comes to this kind of stuff. We're both working hard at trying to put out the best products for you guys, the community, and uh, it is what it is. Was that the Pulse 24 BF? Yeah, this is the Pulse 24. Is the Dead Rabbit deck similar to the final update of the drop? No. Actually, well, the Dead Rabbit is almost identical to the original design of the drop, the first... Like, did I just say that they're totally different, are Yeah, you did. They're just fucking with you, Brian. Yeah. So there you go. You're actually changing your original idea and copying the dead rabbit right <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking he's reading isaac sanchez's uh, comment uh isaac like put you a time out <laughs> uh, the airflow that i have for the drop rda oh fuck. anyway mike the so airflow, what were you saying the airflow system this top cap is a different top cap than the one that's going to come with with drop rda so i can't really comment on that to you because i'm not getting the accurate vape off it from the product that's to be released. Did I say that correctly, Brian? Yep. Right. Oh, let me show everybody my new toy that I got. Fidget spinner? Oh, uh, check it out. Oh, this came out the awesome. other day. This is from Indonesia, the makers of the Sabone mechanical mod. This one here is the Katana. The Katana. It's a black nickel plated. That looks sick. Dude, that looks like the handle on like some sort of sword that you would use in battle. Yeah. Katana. I know. Oh uh, yeah. It's amazing. Do they nice. have a retractable like uh like knife in there? That'd be nice, right? Yeah. Uh any other questions, guys? Looks like a dildo. So Mike Joseph Monger said that that looks like a fucking dildo. What's that? I don't know. He said that looks like a dildo. All mechanical mods look like dildos, if you really think about it. Is Angor rabbit cotton? Questions. Billy's Try cotton? Tell me a dodo fact to learn more about them. Uh, hmm? I have no idea. You guys smart. Right. You guys got a lot of talking when you said dildo. <laughs> Mark has her trade to understand dildo order. Order dildo. Oh. 
calls it a, a ditto or whatever. Oh, look at Gary's telling me he loves me. Have you guys had any uh, problems okay. so far? Yep. Can I answer Isaac's question? Isaac, but I can tell you something, though. Vaping it with this top cap, it's a pretty good fucking vape. So I can imagine it's only going to be better. So anyway, take it away, Brian. Take it away, Mark. Take it uh, away, Steve. I concur. I'm reading questions in chat. Uh, Beth, Beth Fisher asks a great question. And you know what? I constantly, I mentioned it a few times as cons, but I think from now on, I will mention it as a con, a big con. Do you guys think companies should list what material is in a pre-built coil? Yes, they should. If you're, oh, getting, yeah. a, if you're getting a sub-ohm tank and they're giving you coils, or even a kit, for example, that comes with a, a device that does TC and they supply you a sub-ohm tank, they should state what material that coil is in there. We had that. We had the same thing. that had that happen to us with the uh, the one from uh, Vaporesso. What was that device, Mark? The mm. Revenger. Yep. Right. And meanwhile, the coils that came in that someone tank were stainless steel, but they never mentioned it was stainless steel. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's a big con. I noticed a lot of companies are using Nichrome too in their coil heads. Yeah. They don't. They don't list it anymore. They, they used to always list it, but now they stopped doing it. I don't know why. And just so people don't get confused, nichrome is not nickel coils for TC. Ni nichrome at 80, you cannot do temperature control with it. Yeah. And if a box mod says they do temp control with it, they full of crap, yo. Oh, my God. I don't like a lot of minty flavors, but I fucking love Dark Horse. Do we still do the after show? Yeah. Yes, we still do the after show. Mr. Otis, a.k.a. Ghost Load. <laughs> Uh, someone asked about the katana. The katana cap is it the same as the sabone cap? There you go. I'll give you guys an up close look of the sabone cap. Let's dive down. <clears throat> so pretty much the same. Same cap. When I did the review, I said how the airflow on these kind of suck for it, and I guess I never listened, and I did it again. So. Is the you five? Don't, you don't have to get this top cap with the. I have that top cap sitting in a drawer. Yeah, this top cap basically only fits on uh, Goon, the Goon RDAs, any of the Goon. Like this one here, this is actually the Goon, the new one, the version 1.5 build deck. The 510 connection on my Minikin 2 is not loose. Never had any issues with my 510s on any of the Minikins. For that. Just checked it, though, just to double check. Best flavor sub ohm tank out there. A lot if of people love the Crown version three. A lot of people love the Crown version three. To me, all of these uh, sub ohm tanks, they're all the same shit flavor wise, I feel. Not really much of a difference. But I know the Crown three, right off the bat, awesome flavor. No break in time with that coil. I like the, the buggy baby, buggy beast. If you're looking for the most, looking for a sub ohm tank that can handle the highest wattages, the Blazer 200 tank. Hell yeah. Those coil heads can actually handle 200 watts easily. Recommendations for a single 2700 mech price under $200. Actually, the price he wants under 195 since he just donated $5 to us. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think? Look, if you, if you want to get something that's cheap in price, that's pretty good. Are you going to hold that up? Oh, there you go. Yep. Yeah, the iDroid 2700. This thing is pretty nice. Look at that button locking system on there. It's real nice. It's a nice 2700 mech. And Mike's, Mike's recommendation is 27 uh, was sponsored by iDroid for your joy. Thank you, Mike. Yes. And uh, I also have the other one. Where's my rainbow edition? I got it somewhere. Oh, here it is. I got the rainbow one, too. That actually looks really nice. And it's awesome. The kit comes with a fucking battery, too, and an RDA. Can't go wrong. You guys saw Brad Vapor sells them on his website, bradvapor.com. Check them out. Yeah, bradsvapor.com. I think it's a great great uh, mechanical mod. What was the price again? Uh, I don't remember the price. It's cheaper. Now, if you want to go for something expensive, you know, they have, like, you get something like this. 
this one here this is the 1111 by vapor clouds vapors cloud this takes a 2700 or an 18650 inside there so this is much a more pricey i think these are like 140 when i'm not mistaken something like that 140 dollars i think the roundhouse is also in that price range too if i'm not mistaken uh richard i will not be repeating the name of the new smoke tank thank you the new smoke tank isn't that the b b the brother the uh, i had a i had a problem remembering the name in the video <laughs> oh, you couldn't remember x baby no it's like no the the big baby brother i had an issue what it's called the what the baby beast brother right yeah and i was i called it the big baby brother once too <laughs> uh, you got pro mech that's a really good mod i actually no the pro mech i haven't tried yet the v god mech i tried not the pro one yet though the only thing with uh, this mech here, the 1111, is that when you're using either the 18650 or 2700, it will not look like this. It will look like Mark will show you what it looks like. I put an O-ring on mine. <laughs> I do you do that. It just looks better. If I take the O-ring off, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to have a little gap right there. And I just think it looks better if you put an O-ring right there. <laughs> I don't know why. Just, uh, and also, using an O-ring helps <laughs> that ring in place so that ring doesn't move. Mark put bath bathtub caulk in there. That's not a bad idea either. <laughs> there you go. That's, the, that's the design. They went after this design. This is the Sith Bane from Italy. Yep. That's the way the design is supposed to be. It's supposed to have that gap. That's the way they designed it. Yep. Yeah, I mean, put the, like, with the, okay, for instance, the, um, Scorpion I reviewed today. It has like a little gap also, but at least the gap's going to be at the top. So you kind of really don't notice it as much. But having it right in the center of the tube is kind of just like, eh, you know? Kind of all personal preference, I guess. But still. Yeah, it's personal preference, but that's the way they designed it. Yeah. I, when I saw this at first, I was like, oh, this looks sweet if it looks like this. And I saw the gap, <laughs> and I was like, so I was expecting it to look this way. Yep. I was let down. But with the Bane, I knew what it would look like and I wasn't let down. Yeah. You know so it's it's also that psychological thing. It's That's like, why I thought I was doing something wrong because I'm like, why is that fucking gap there? And I'm and I finally I asked you and everybody else, is that how you're supposed to adjust it? They're like, yep, that's how it's supposed to look. And it's like, God damn it. Nice mod though. I'll give you that really nice mod. Just You don't like it. No, I like it. I just put an O ring right there. Yeah. I don't mind the O ring there. There you go. Find it. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say, Mike. All right. What time is it? Oh, are we doing overtime? It's 11 05. Overtime. Shut up. That's it. We're done. Overtime. Good night, everyone. Bye. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Overtime. Um, hmm. I love you, Gary. Overtime. Gary's out there sucking dick tonight. What is He's he doing? Telling. He's been telling me he loves me. Yeah, I know. He also said Heavy is the best shop owner in the vape community. Well, I agree with that. Yeah, probably, probably. He just got out of jail, actually. So It's amazing how flattering Gary gets when he's on blow. <laughs> <laughs> Combred pudding. I'm fucking... I can't stop vaping this shit right here. This cornbread pudding. Dude, it's got a taste, Mike, that's so original. I just want to... <laughs> drink it. I know. A nice sweet corn. Stuff is delicious. It really is good, man. Yep. Hit that juice.com. Use coupon code MV10. Get 10% off. There's a lot of people out there that are talking about going into overtime tonight. Overtime. Overtime, you fuckers. Whenever we go into overtime, we get ourselves in trouble, though, because Mark starts staying shit that's not appropriate. I have to keep him under wraps. You want to start talking about reviewers who review shit too soon? No, let's not do that. And let's also... <laughs> That'll end the show real quick. So let me ask you this question, Mark. When did you stop doing modeling? Thank you for that answer. And with that, guys, <laughs> we're going to see you guys next week. Same vape time, same vape channel. The vape team. That had good like acoustics to it. Sure did.